everybody, it's Miss Clopton. I have a new story today. A new story that's very special to me because my good friend named Laurel Neem wrote this book. She lives right just down the road in Shelburne, Vermont. And it's a true story, a true rescue story called The Elephant's New Shoe. Did you notice that? Yeah, this little elephant is wearing a shoe. Hmm, look, here's a real picture of him on the back. His name is Chuck, and Chuck has a special shoe on because something happened to him when he was little. He's an elephant that lives in Cambodia, and I'm gonna share the story with you today. I think you'll really like it. The illustrator, by the way, is Ariel Landy, and Nick Marks is the person who helped uh, Chuck get well. And he's a Wildlife Alliance member out in Cambodia. So he wrote something called The Forward, which if you get this book from our library, you'll be able to see more about Chuck's story. Scholastic gave us permission to read this book today. And this tells us more about Chuck and what happened with Chuck. And this tells you more about the Wildlife Alliance group that helps rescue animals. Let's find out what happens to this sweet baby. Animal rescuer Rick Marks peered at the injured elephant. He and Dr. Ty had been called by a patrol team to inspect a tiny male elephant found wandering alone. His name was Chuck. Nick blinked back tears. Chuck was skinny, scruffy, and scared. A wire snare had cut off his foot and his leg was infected. No, his foot had been cut. Nick tiptoed into view. He did not want to startle the elephant. Chuck flapped his ears. He'd been hurt by nasty men before. Could he trust Nick? The baby elephant trumpeted a warning. <coughs> Nick crept closer. I won't hurt you. his trumpet. Chuck reared up and landed on his bad leg. His body buckled. Oh, Nick winced. He could feel the pachyderm's pain. To help the orphaned elephant, he knew he'd have to prove he wasn't a danger. Nick turned back to his team. Go back to camp, he told them. I will stay. Nick sprinkled bananas along the trail. Hungry little guy? Chuck eyed the moon-shaped fruit, but skittered away. At nightfall, Chuck watched Nick from a distance. Eventually, both fell asleep under the stars. The next morning, Nick moved closer to Chuck. Banana, Nick offered. Chuck inched closer and closer. Slowly and carefully, he placed his hand on Chuck's head. At last, the injured elephant snuffled Nick's arm. The two soon became fast friends. During the day, they listened to the jungle. At nighttime, Nick fluffed the grass beside his hammock. Chuck nestled underneath. Bring Chuck to the rescue center, government officials told Nick and there he could get the care that he needed. Nick worried that Chuck would hurt himself on the bumpy roads, so they built a special cage and they padded it with soft leaves. On the big day, Dr. Ty sedated Chuck to make him sleepy and keep the men safe. An anxious elephant could be dangerous. Nick led Chuck into the truck and sat beside him. During the trip, Nick and Chuck snacked. They stretched, they slept, 26 hours later, they arrived at the rescue center. Dr. Ty examined Chuck's leg. He's in bad shape. Nick rubbed Chuck's trunk. Without a foot, the elephant's back and bones would twist out of shape, and the pain would be unbearable. The vets would do what they could, but they could not regrow a missing limb. Dr. Ty cleaned the wound and removed some bone fragments. Would Chuck ever be able to walk again? 
Nick and another keeper nursed the elephant around the clock. The calf gained weight. His leg started to heal, but Chook was sad. He slept all the time. Do you miss your family, little guy? Nick murmured. For an elephant, family is the center of its world. Chook had no mother, no herd, no elephant love. Lucky me Chook, Nick said. Now eight. Lucky had been rescued as an orphan too, and Nick knew that Lucky could help. Lucky nestled Chook under her belly, and Chook snuggled, finally peaceful. Oh, he has a friend. Nick and Lucky started down a lush trail. The tiny calf struggled to follow. His foot hurt, and he was tired. Lucky rumbled encouragement, but Chook could not keep up. Nick frowned. Would Chook ever have a normal elephant life? Nick encouraged Chook, but things were looking dismal. Chook just wanted to lay down and rest. Walking on three legs is hard. Chook couldn't go on like this forever. He needed a new foot. But was that even possible? Nick called doctors in Thailand. They'd done this for elephants there, but they were too busy. He called doctors and prosthesis makers throughout Cambodia, but they refused. Too crazy, too costly, too complicated. It was a storm of no's, but Nick would not give up. He begged the Cambodian School of Prosthetics and Orthotics. Can you help? The director agreed. We'll try. Medics measured, they molded, they debated, and created. Weeks later, they came back with their first design. It had a plastic, soft upper and car tire sole. Nick examined the false foot. Would Chuck accept it? Nick enticed his friend with turnips while doctors slipped on a sock and then the new shoe. Chuck nosed it. He took a step, a step and another. He tested and twirled until at last he trusted his new foot. He smiled, he loves it. But a few days later, the side split, the plastic ripped. It could not take the wear and tear of an elephant. They needed a stronger shoe. This time they used hard plastic. Nick distracted his pal with turnips while the team wrenched that boot into place. But the calf trumpeted. Oh, it hurts. He cringed, he crashed, he cried, get it off. Whoa! Nick and the team carefully approached Chook to take it off. Once again, the team tested different designs, this time for a durable shoe. They poured stiff but flexible plastic. For a stay-on shoe, they added belts. For a comfy shoe, they padded it with foam. At last, they were ready. Nick grinned at the new contraption, coaxing his buddy with bananas. The team strapped the shoe on. Chook tiptoed forward carefully. He pranced backward delicately. He snuggled up to Nick and an elephant thank you. Oh, oh, there's Lucky and there's Chuck. Today, Chuck and Lucky spend their days exploring the forest at the center. Chuck is a big boy now. He's still growing and outgrowing his prosthetic. Every six months, he needs a new shoe. And every time, Nick and the school make one. Oh, he got just what he needed. There he is right there, Chuck eating leaves. I love to read stories where humans are helping, helping each other, helping animals, and when they keep trying and making things better, even sometimes when it can be hard. 
What a great story of an Asian elephant who got some help and can walk and play just like other elephants can too. I love this brand new book. The True Story, Elephant's New Shoe. Wow, thanks Laurel Neem. Huh, I get to see her on Friday. I'm gonna thank her in person for writing this great book. Have a super duper day.